grade 9 students, it's a brand new day filled with fun and exciting new topic which you can relate and maybe share some of your experiences. I am Teacher Abby and welcome to the world of grade 9 English. Now, get your pen, paper and module and together we will learn right at the comfort of your homes. Get ready to delve into the world of fun. Students, do you like to read a poem? Hmm, yes, of course. Every day in our lives, we encounter different kinds of poem, a poem written in different dialect. But today, we're going to learn and understand the poem Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. To commence our lesson, let me present to you our class objectives. Listen to the audio recording and analyze the poem. Infer the persona's thoughts, feelings, and intentions in the poem. Draw generalization and conclusions from the materials listened to. Create a collage based on the chosen line or images from the poem. Use rubric to evaluate the output given. Learning to cope with challenges is part of enhancing oneself. This simply means that one needs to be aware of, remove the setbacks, burdens, and difficulties which at time upset him or her. This lesson will guide you in answering the big question, how do I cope with challenges in life? So students, are you ready? Very good. Our first activity is called Twister. For this activity, you can find this on your module on page 3. You may submit this through our Google Classroom. For this, you need to work in pairs and reflect on the question, What do you consider as your challenges in life? Make a list of 5 challenges experienced by students like you. Rank the items on your list in order to of difficulty with 1 as most challenging and 5 as the least challenging. Make a chart like the one below and fill it up with the interest code 4. Since we're already done with that, let's proceed to task 2. Task 2. Figure him out. Before listening to the audio recording, try to ponder this question and write it on the chat box below. Do words have the power to help a person get through hard or difficult times? In what way? Mmm, very good. Words can hurt other people, same as words can help a person get through difficult times. Words have the power to help a person. It comforts you, it motivates you, and it gives you positive thoughts. So yes, words have the power to help a person get through hard and difficult times.
another figure him out. Do you know who is in this picture? Hmm, are you sure? Of course you know this picture. Yes, this is Langston Hughes, James Mercer Langston Hughes. He was an American poet, socialist, activist, novelist, playwright, and columnist from Joplin, Missouri, one of the earliest innovators of the literary art form called jazz poetry. Hughes is best known as a leader of the Harlem Renaissance. He famously wrote about the period the Negro was in vogue, which was later far up race as when Harlem was in vogue. To know more about him, I already included some references for you to surf about. So, are you ready to listen to the audio recording? So sit back and relax as we listen to one of the famous poems written by Langston Hughes, The Mother to Son. As you listen to the poem, try to take note some important points, words, and phrases. Well, son, I'll tell you. Life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it. And splinters. And boards torn up. And places with no carpet on the floor. Bear. But all the time I've been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So, boy, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps cause you find it's kinda hard. Don't you fall now. Fires are still going, honey. Eyes are still climbing. And life for me ain't been no crystal stair. Students, how was it? Did you understand the poem? The emotions are yet heavy, right? Indeed. Now before we delve deeper, try to answer this activity by group. You may listen again or read the text on your module. This activity could be done consisting of four to five members. You may submit your output on our Google Classroom. 
Task 3. Differentiated Word Accomplish the following group tasks based on the poem you read and listen to. For Group 1, this is what we called Words, Words, Words. You need to list the words that your group finds it difficult in the poem. You may use dictionary to find the meaning of the words as well as the antonyms and synonyms. For Group 2, Meaningful Significant Experience Answer the following questions as a group. Who is the speaker or person in the poem? To what does the speaker compare her life with? What does the mother tell her son? For Group 3, Salient Points Read and discover the answer to the following questions. What is the poem about? What is the most interesting phrase in the poem? And why? Which part makes you think of someone in through life experiences? What do you think is the author's purpose in writing the poem? For group 4, discuss the answers to the following questions. Which part of the poem do you like best and why? What do you think might have motivated the matter to advise her son? Is the message of the poem worthwhile? What have you learned from it? Okay, let's delve deeper into the poem Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. This poem by Langston Hughes is a poem written in lyrical poetry and is more than likely an allegory for civil rights issues, which were prominent when it was written. This can be seen by the quote, Life for me ain't been no crystal stair, which implies a struggle that has been ongoing for the mother's entire life. The poem seems to represent some extremely loving and motherly themes through what may appear to be harsh vernacular. The metaphor used here are indeed harsh, but make no mistakes, the mother's intentions are benevolent to give her son a stern warning about life. One way that mother to son fits the theme of lyrical poetry is with its adherence to expressing the feelings of the singer or poet which use thus indirectly through the mother, such as with a quote, For I see still going, honey, which lends the mother a firm commitment to enduring the hardships of life. The first two lines of the poem begin with the mother beginning her explore son and mentions that life has not been crystal stair. This term is ambiguous and creates an air of mystery around the poem. However, the most likely explanation is that the mother was simply creating an example of a pleasant yet delicate item to contrast with the harsh reality of life. Or maybe the poet implies that life was definitely not delicate or pleasant. The next few lines mention the disrespair of the mother's life, describing it as a having tax in it, with boards torn up and completely bare. The rhyme scheme here is much more uniform than in most other parts of the poem, and most of these lines all give the same basic point, that the mother has been through a great deal of hardship throughout her life, and these hardships have taken their toll on her. Next, the mother mentions that she has been continually advancing through life via metaphors such as As reaching London's turning corners and sometimes going in the dark. This imagery implies the ascension of human from the bottom rung, if not the top, at least a better position than when they began. The rhyme scheme here is also snappy and consistent, implying a sort of steady rebuilding of one's life. The mother then tells her son then he must not turn back nor fail which seems like tough love, coming from a motherly figure. But these lines help to reaffirm the mother's role in the poem as an experienced matriarch, guiding her son even if this lesson seems harsh. Finally, the mother tells her child that she herself is still climbing and reaffirms that life is not a crystal stair. 
This seems to imply that everyone, even the seemingly experienced and summer mother, must continually improve or set down on the steps, which is another common theme of the civil rights movement, constant betterment of the self. Considering the time period, this poem was written as an evidence that can be seen in the contrast between young and old, such as with the line, So boy, don't you turn back, don't you set down on the steps, and that the main divider between young and old simply experiences. All in all, the poem is concise and effective in getting its point. Even if the point does not seem to be ambiguous, it strikes the perfect balance in the poetry wherein it allows the emotion surrounding the poem to flow freely but leave the main overaching theme up to the reader or singer or in some cases. The poem is successful in creating a summer mood, yet one that encourages the betterment of the self. This was the strongest part of the poem, the description of hardships and degradation if one is able to not lose one's way. The imagery used by use to relate with decrepit house was effective as well. While the poem does not tell a story, per se it does convey ideas and these ideas are introduced and resolved by the end of the poem which ends in a similar manner to the way it began. The overaching theme of hardship failure and eventually a repentance ring strong throughout the poem and end up leaving the reader with an air of hopefulness after reading the poem despite its somewhat summer tone although the use of the poem as an allegory for civil rights seems most likely this might not necessarily be the case that is the beauty of this poem that it can convey strong feelings yet leave the reader somewhat in the dark about why they are experiencing them. Overall, Mother to Son by Langston Hughes uses the metaphor of a staircase to depict the difficulties and dangers one will face in life. Now, since you already understand the poem, Mother to Son, let's answer this question. How important is the poem's message in your life? It is important because it gives us an inspiration and advice that no matter what challenges and obstacles we are facing, we still need to continue our lives and face these challenges wholeheartedly. Do you agree with that? Very good! The second question is that, what have you learned from it? Mm, do you have any idea what have you learned from the poem you listened to? Alright, you have learned that life is full of challenges, but we should be strong and have the courage to continue living because we don't own all the problems in the world. Do you agree with that? Indeed. One thing that I have learned is that the life of a parent is not simple. Even if they are not rich, they work hard for us. Just like in the poem that the mother has been through a great deal of hardship throughout her life and this hardship had taken their toll on her, but she continued 
that no matter how hard life is, we must continue and face all our struggles and difficulties in our life. We must never give up, continue living. Which among the advices have you already heard from your mother? Mm-hmm, of course. You probably talk to your friends way more than you talk to your parents, right? That's natural. Even if you and your parents have a great relationship, still, it's good to have a parent's help, advice, and support. You can get some support from other adults in your life as well. Maybe from your teacher, your mentor, or your coach that you like to talk with. At first, it might seem awkward to open up, especially when talking about some subjects, right? Remember, when we face difficult situation, our parents usually comforts us, also motivates, and gives positive thoughts, right? Even if there are times that when we feel like we're about to give up, our parents usually say these words that it's going to be okay. Don't give up. Be grateful. Be true to yourself. Those are the advices that we usually heard from them. Okay, so did you understand the poem again? Did you understand that one? Do not forget to submit your output in our Google Classroom. Okay, very good. So, are you ready for our performance test? Or are you ready to perform the performance test? Of course, very good. So, our task or the last task that I'm going to assign to you is what we call advice collage. With your group, you need to create a collage based on your chosen line or images from the poem. You need to create a photos or drawings that illustrates the message that your group wants to convey. Remember that one representative from your group will further elaborate your output. Rubrics will be given as an assessment basis. So grab your materials and let's do this task. You, you will be given 10 minutes to complete this task. Timer starts now.
for your assignment, list verses in the Bible that talks about the sacrifices or advices of a mother or a son. Through the list of verses, choose one that represents one's experience through a two-stanza poem. You may submit your output in the next session. Before we end this session, let's ponder the quotation coming from Anna Claudia Antunes. Life keeps throwing me stones, and I keep finding the diamonds. What do you think this quotation implies? This quotation implies that Whatever happened, and despite all the challenges, people need to keep moving forward and also face time to confusion and uncertainty. This is similar to the advice of the mother to son, telling her boy to do the same and have the courage to move forward without even turning back. The mother also tells, do not mislead or lose hope. She inspires her son by saying that she has always strived for a better life and even he must continue to do so. Just to persevere. This is the end of the session. I hope that you will learn something from me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time! Yep, 